Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to Thriftmas and today I am going to be sharing with you part one of a really big thrift haul. All right, so yes, I recently went to my favorite local thrift store, which is basically like a very, very large Play-Doh slash clothes mentor in that the prices can be very high, like 50 plus dollars for certain items. So I love going there, but I have to really be aware <laughs> of the prices and I try to only shop things that are on sale. And every once in a while, every like two to three months or so, this store will just send out a text on a random day and they'll do 50% off the entire store. And these are the days that I love going because I don't have to get all excited about something, then realize the color tag is not on sale and it's just not worth it for me to pick up. So I actually pretty much just stuck to the dress section. Every section of the store is really, really big. So you kind of just have to pick one every time you go, especially when they do have these big sale days because it gets very, very crowded. So I ended up, I think with like 23 dresses and that is actually going to be the part two of this video, which might even go up the same day as this one. And in this video, I will show you all the denim, tops, just other random things besides dresses that I was able to pick up. Also, I do want to say thank you guys so much for your well wishes. I have literally been sick for like a week. I'm still not feeling 100% by any means. I think I have a sinus infection to be honest, so if I'm not feeling a bit better in the next few days, which would put me at like 10 days of not feeling well, I will go to the doctors. I really hate going to the doctors. And everything I looked up said like, just try to take care of it on your own and you know, eat healthy and rest and drink lots of liquids and everything. So I'm trying to take control of the sickness, but I just wanted to say that because my thrift miss schedule has definitely gotten very off. I started off wanting to do every other month from December 1st or 2nd or whenever I started this. And then on the opposite days, I was planning to post on my more bookish lifestyle channel called Cozies and Classics. But because I really was not feeling like I could do anything for like five days of this sickness, I got really behind on filming. And now we are <laughs> getting closer and closer to Christmas. My family's coming in. All that to say, I'm still gonna try really hard to get 12 videos up on both channels, but it might not happen and there might be like a couple videos in one day and then skip a couple of days. It's just gonna be like a little bit chaotic, but I'm gonna do my best to get those videos up for you guys because I really am excited about making all of them. Also, quick appreciation for my cute little vintage sweatshirt. Shout out to one of my favorite Poshmark sellers, Vintage Most Wanted. I've bought from him probably four or five times. And especially if you are a fan of Pennsylvania sports, I would recommend checking him out. I've got some really cool vintage Penn State items from him. But this sweatshirt is like a chorus of coyotes singing and it's from 1988 and it's in really good condition and I think it's really cute. All right, but updates over. Now let's talk about the thrift haul, which is what you guys are here for, of course. So I did end up getting 40 items for $223. $15 of that was just tax. But I was pretty happy with my average cost of goods. It ended up being $5.50 per item. And I'm honestly really, really happy with everything I got, both for myself and for selling. So let's go ahead and get into what I did end up getting for myself. First up, we have this sweatshirt which I know I am gonna get so much use out of. I'll probably wear this literally like twice a week. It is so comfortable. It is a Lewin Gray crew neck and it is their signature soft plush. And if you guys have felt it before, you just know how unbelievably cozy it is. And this is like my favorite shade of green to wear. I really like a darker green. I am a big fan of athleisure. I literally wear athleisure or dresses. Like there really is no in between for me. And then speaking of Penn State, I was so, so happy to find this Penn State Spirit jersey. And these alone, I think are close to $100. So I am thrilled that I was able to get this. I think I was able to get it for $5 when it was half off. I've had good luck selling Spirit jersey too. So I would recommend being on the lookout for it. Some of them can sell for even a hundred plus dollars on the secondhand market if they are larger sizes or just harder to come by. But I'm not gonna sell this. So I didn't even look up how much I could get for it. 
but I do really like it. And then on the back, it says, we are Penn State. And I love to wear pink too, and pink is not Penn State's color, so it's kind of nice to find something that's Penn State, but also pink. This one, we'll actually see if I keep it. I love the idea of it, but I feel like gray is just really not my color. But this is another blue and gray item. <laughs> Big fan of blue and gray pieces. And this is kind of best of both worlds for me, because as I said, I do really like to wear athleisure, loungewear, but I also like to wear dresses. So this really does combine them both. It is a dress that you could for sure dress up, but it also does have like the very sporty look with like the drawstrings. And yeah, I could wear this with like high boots or with sneakers. And then last up, another dress that I think is gonna be great for this holiday season. This is from A New Day, Target. And I love the fit of this. I love the cut. I like that it does tie at the neck. I think that's like a really cute and classy look. So that's everything I got for myself. And now let's move on to the tops. Okay, so first up is what you saw in the thumbnail. And I'm so curious about this. I kind of just picked it up on a whim. I quickly looked up the brand when I was in the thrift store and I saw that the sweatshirts do sell for like $150. But I just thought it was a really cool sweatshirt. Maybe I would even give it to my little brother if he wanted it. It felt like really it had never been washed or worn at all. So this brand is Hua Yan Ching Nin, which is a Chinese designer, but they did this collab with the Brooklyn Nets, I believe, the basketball team in New York. And I'm not sure how much these originally did sell for. I think you could only get them like at the game and they only made a limited amount. And when I looked up the specific sweatshirt when I got home, I saw that somebody had it listed for $250. Actually, I think a couple of different people had this sweatshirt listed for $250. And that's really all I could find. I don't think I found any solds. So when I listed it, I ended up just putting it up for $175 and we'll see what happens. As of me filming this, it's been up for like 12 hours or something. So not very long and it hasn't got any interest. So it's not like people are <laughs> dying to find this cheap or anything like that. But when I picked it up, I was thinking, ooh, maybe I'll get like 50 bucks or so, but this might be a 100 plus dollar sale. So very nice surprise there. Next, very bread and butter. This is a Torrid Super Soft Knit Top size 2X. I have sold a lot of these kinds of tops for Torrid. They usually sell anywhere from 20 to $25 or so. And yeah, just a great bread and butter piece. I think I ended up getting it for only like $3 or so with the half off. So decided to just throw it in my cart. Same with this piece from Free People. I am a little bit picky with my Free People and a lot of times I only really like to pick up <laughs> the more substantial pieces if I could figure this out. But they had this marked down pretty low and I think it is super, super cute for the beach or just like vacation in general. Really like the colors. This is a size extra small and it's in great shape. I was waiting in line to check out. The line was really, really long because a lot of people who do resell in Columbus do come to this particular thrift store when they have sales just because you can get really good brands, good quality items. I really don't know where this store gets their products from. I think they do get raw donations but I would not be surprised if they also purchased items from like Clothes Mentor, Play-Dohs, because they get really, really good brands and they always have them. They just mark them up really high. So it's actually a really great place to shop if you're looking for yourself because a lot of the pieces I wouldn't personally pay to resell, but I would certainly pay them for myself. So for myself, I've gotten some really pretty like new with tag anthropology dresses for like 25, 30 bucks. Too high to resell, but yeah, when you're buying for yourself, definitely worth it. Anyway, long spiel over, I really, really like this American Eagle flannel. I mean, it really is like a coat. It's very thick. It's like the teddy material inside. It's a size medium, but for sure more of an oversized fit. This one I got for only $5, so I was very, very happy about that. So you absolutely can find some good deals at this store. It's just a bit of a treasure hunt, but I love this. Part of me hopes that it doesn't sell very soon because I might pull it out and wear it for myself. Here we have a hoodie from Super Dry, and I've actually never sold this brand before, I don't believe. I might've actually just gotten a Super Dry piece though, 
in one of my men's boxes that I just opened. But I'm thinking that was maybe more of like a button up. But this I think is really cute. It says it is a 2XL and I thought that this looked quite small for a men's 2XL but I guess super dry sizing is more like European sizing. So you kind of have to knock off a size or two. So I listed it, I believe, as an extra large and said, you know, it'd be like more fitted on XL, oversized on large. But I really like it. This is actually probably the most worn thing that I picked up. There's just kind of a little bit of wear. So I just noted that and it does have a lot of life left. Next up, we have this really nice basic J. Jill top. I do love a lot of the more basic pieces from J. Jill when you can get them in the good materials. So this one is 100% Pima cotton and it's a size large. I would recommend with J. Jill and other mature brands, if you can get items that are like large and bigger, I've just found that they sell a lot better than smaller sizes. Smaller sizes will definitely still sell. I just find that it takes a little bit longer. But yeah, great closet staple. It is the crew neck high low tee. And I love that they put the names in their items a lot of times because then you can just find a stock photo really, really easy. And I think this is a beautiful color that really would work for all seasons. And then this is the last top. It actually was in the dress section. I think they thought it was like a mini dress because you could certainly wear it that way, but it's soft surroundings and they consider <laughs> things that a lot of people would consider mini dresses just as tunics. But this is new with tag, soft surroundings. It is a size large. Same with J. Jill. I would recommend sticking to large and above with this brand. This is another one that could work for a lot of the year because you can almost wear it for like spring, but it also is very holiday looking and it is a thicker material. And hopefully I could get 40 plus dollars for this one since it is new with tags. Okay, then we have some denim and honestly, I probably would have picked up a bit more denim. I made it through like this much of the denim section, but that was at the very end and I literally felt like I was gonna pass out. This has been like the only time I've left the house this week pretty much. But within the span of like five minutes tops, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of jeans, so that was really nice. These ones do have the most interest so far, just again within like the last 12 hours or so. These are Abercrombie and Fitch, the 90s straight ultra high rise jean. And I would recommend looking out for Abercrombie jeans that say curve love. I think a lot of people, including myself, really like their curve love line. And these are a size 26 or two short. And they have this, I think they call it the crisscross button closure where it's just like a little off center. I think that is a really cute style. I've been on the lookout for that style in my size myself. A little bit of a stiffer denim and there's some light distressing, but overall I think these are just a great closet staple jean. Now we have another pair of Abercrombie. These are the high rise mom jeans. Again, they are the curve love and these are a size 29 or eight regular. A little bit of a darker wash and there's some distressing and a lot of I guess you would say like whiskering, like the lines down at the front of the jeans. These also have a like on them already. I would absolutely recommend looking out for Abercrombie jeans if you can get them for a good price. I'd say out of all the mall brands, American Eagle included, they do seem to sell the best and they do retain a lot of their value and a lot of times you can get around, I'd say like $45 or so for them. Here we have a pair of Good American jeans. These are pretty small, they're a size zero or 25 but I think they are a good style. They are a straight cut jean, I would say, with the raw hem. Really nice, just classic closet staple jean in really, really excellent condition. Next up we have Zara. I got these mostly because of the size. They are a size 14 and they are a really nice, just light wash distress jean that I do have a little bit of interest on already, so that's nice. And we have some good classic Levi's. These are the wedgie cuts and they're a size 29. So pretty good size and the wedgies do tend to do pretty well. These are a slightly different cut. They are a little bit shorter and they are like cuffed at the end. So they're, I wouldn't say capri length, just a little bit shorter. And these are made with the premium denim, so they are extremely soft and comfortable. And then last up for this video, we have a pair of page jeans, which I do pick up if they are a good size and I can get them for a good price. These are a size 29. 
They are a really, really soft, comfortable denim. They almost feel like trousers. I was debating a little bit because of these zippers. I know these are not gonna be for everybody. I wouldn't personally want to get these myself, but I think I ended up getting these for only five or six bucks, which is pretty good for denim. Honestly, at all thrift stores, I feel like even the Goodwills have really jacked the price of denim up lately, so it's hard to get a good pair for under like eight bucks. So yeah, there was enough going for these that I did want to pick them up and I know that they will have a buyer. But all right, everybody, that was everything for part one of this video. I will very shortly have a part two where I will walk you through all of the dresses that I did get from this big thrift haul. And I'm really happy and excited about all of them. So if you are a dress girl like me, definitely make sure you stick around and watch that video. And if you're liking Thriftmas so far, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.